Okay, so now we're gonna try mono printing. And what you wanna do first is choose a subject matter from nature for your mono print. And then you want to get some scrap paper from the Free Time Center, the stuff with the printed side. And you wanna tear this in half. So fold it in half, tear it in half. And then you want to tear this, fold this in half, and tear it in half again. This is going to be the size of your mono print plate. Um, it's going to be slightly smaller than your mono print plate, but that's okay. That's what we want, just a little bit smaller. So decide what you want your subject matter to be. And what this is going to end up being is a silhouette of your nature item. So it's going to be the outline. Think of um, like casting a shadow. When you're out on the playground and the sun is shining and it casts a shadow, on you onto the blacktop, that shadow doesn't have any inside detail. It doesn't have your eyes. It doesn't have your mouth or nose. It doesn't have what kind of clothes you have on. It's just your outline. Well, that's what this is going to be for the mono print. So you are going to choose, you can choose some of my leaf patterns and trace those if you want. You can draw something that you want. Like I, I think I'm going to draw some trees, uh, something from nature and you're going to want to fit it on this paper and this paper like i said is slightly smaller than the mono print plate and that's okay that's what we want and all these inside details won't show up and so you will cut that out so you can see how it's just the outline there's no details on the inside i'm going to go ahead and do one other so I'm going to show you how you can kind of do uh, the details on the inside with a separate paper. So here's my leaf pattern, but I want to do um, the veining. And I'm going to cut the veining out of the paper. Here's the veining, but I also need the leaf itself. So now I need to trace the leaf again and just cut out the leaf. All right, and so now we're going to create a mono print using the mono print plates. So this is a mono print plate. It's just a piece of rubber that is in the shape of a rectangle. And you're going to use two for two different colors for your mono print. But remember how we cut out these stencils? I'm going to show you how to use those. So what you're going to do is you are going to lay down, no, you're gonna roll some ink out first. You wanna roll your lighter color first, and you're just gonna roll this over the top of the printing plate. And you want it to be even, so this isn't even yet. So you're gonna go two directions, and make sure you get a nice even coverage of ink. There we go, that's nice and pretty. Nice solid ink coverage. Then you take the stencils, and you lay them down and I'm going to start with the veins. You lay this down on the printing plate and just gently tap it so the ink grabs the paper and holds it there. You're going to get yourself a piece of paper and write your name on it so we know it's yours, don't forget. And you're going to lay this down on top and since I want this to line up, I'm going to line up the bottom edge with the bottom edge of the printing plate because this paper is just a little bit bigger than the printing plate. And then you rub with your hands. You can kind of see through the paper here. If you couldn't see through the paper, then you would just feel with your hands and make sure you rub. Okay. And then you would pull the paper up. And there is my first print. Real nice print. I'm going to pick this paper off here. Um, set this aside, okay, and I want to use a different color now, so I can't use this printing plate. Um, that's this has got blue on it, so it's always going to have blue on it while we're doing this. So I'm going to get bar. I'm going to go to a different table or a different place with a different printing plate, and I'm going to roll ink out onto the printing plate. Remember, it needs to be even. Now I'm going to take and lay this leaf down in the middle of the plate, my other stencil, and I take this paper, and if you do your lighter color first, that's good, that's what you want to do. You don't do dark sec or dark first, 
because it would really mess up the ink. So if I had black on this and I went to put, print it on the blue, that would really mess it up. So now what I'm gonna do is line up the bottom edge of the paper, lay it down, rub, and that's how you create two colored mono print. But you, nothing says you have to do two colors. So you can see I've got some um, blue ink on my white leaf because that was still, the ink was still a little wet. But since the black is so dark, the blue ink from my paper didn't go onto the black monoprint plate because the black is so dark. So now I pull this off and recycle that. And then this plate is good for black again for somebody else. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up again and just do one more. And I'm gonna do it on colored paper this time. So if you do it on color paper, you can save yourself from doing two inks like I did with this one here. Do the light first and the dark second. You could just go straight to the dark, lay your template down, and then choose a color paper, lay it down and rub. Remember to get your name on your papers. And then pull up. And there, I have two colors on this one because the paper was colored and you can get a mono print that way. So that's how you create a print using a mono print.